Hello everyone. Welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we are going to discuss a topic from mechanical properties of solids and particularly about elasticity. The question is like this. Why steel is more elastic than the rubber? So, right from the beginning, we know elasticity is a kind of a property of a material because of which it is able to regain its original state when you remove the applied external force is the definition that we have learned and generally the body that we can pull quite comfortably is the rubber so we understand like rubber is a great elastic body when compared with any other material so the fact is actually different let us try analyzing who is more elastic steel or rubber so let us consider how do we study elasticity of a given material it is studied basing on Young's modulus it is further based on a concept like longitudinal stress. You know the meaning of the stress, that is the force acting per unit area. Longitudinal means that the stress is acting along the length of the wire, is directly proportional to longitudinal strain. This is a rule called something like Hooke's law. We have explained this in the previous video lesson and you can refer that video if required. To eliminate the proportionality, I can write longitudinal stress is equal to some proportionality constant. In the name of a scientist Engs, the constant is nothing but Engs modulus multiplied by longitudinal strain delta L divided by L. So we can write Engs modulus is ratio of longitudinal stress to that of a longitudinal strain. Rearranging the terms, applied force or a restoring force into length by area of cross section of the wire multiplied by increase in the length. That's the definition that we have. Now, how do you decide a given material is more elastic or less elastic? If Young's modulus of a material is more the given material is more elastic. That's how we measure the elastic nature of a material. So, how do you decide Young's modulus is more or not? So, let us consider two materials, both steel and rubber. Let us put some conditions, assuming that their lengths are same. Let us consider a steel wire and rubber wire having the same length. Also take the steel and rubber wires having an area of cross section being a circular cross section pi r square. Assuming like the radius is same therefore their area of cross section is also same. Lengths are same, area of cross section is same. Let f external applied who is equal to the restoring force is also same that means i am taking one steel wire one rubber wire and both of them i have applied same external force both of them are having same length both of them are having same radius. Now, they are not obviously not going to expand identically. They are going to expand differently. I can write now Young's modulus as force into length by area into delta length. But the applied force is same. Length is same. Area of cross section is same. Then implies I can say Young's modulus of a material is inversely proportional to an increase in the length of the wire. Means what? If a wire has increased more in length, its Young's modulus is less, it is less elastic, and vice versa. Now we need to cross check. I have taken both rubber and steel, I have applied both force on both of them the same force. Their lengths are same, their area of cross section is same. It is very clear that delta L of the rubber 
increase in the length of the rubber will be more than that of the steel it's obvious because the molecular force of attraction the, between the rubber is less so it can be easily increasing more than that of the steel as delta l of the rubber is more hanks modulus of the rubber is less than that of hanks modulus of steel so it's very clear that y of the steel is more as the y of the steel is more its elasticity is also more that implies steel is more elastic than rubber 